Hello viewers, this is Hare Hotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. We recently landed here in Wormwood Creek, and we have discovered that it is not very friendly. Not to outsiders, anyway. This guy won't even talk to us. Hooly dooly, this is a flaming disaster. What we need's a decent warrior. Yeah, then we'd be right. Not just any old bruiser, though. They'd have to be level 15 or above, I reckon. So, here is a sign. Wormwood Creek. Foreigners and other outsiders distinctly unwelcome. Yes, I noticed. Anyway, we have been requested to attend the meeting at church tonight, so let's come to the inn and rest a while. You've been summoned to the meeting at the church tonight, right? Ka ha ha. Better get a bit of shut eye in before you go away. Yes, we'd better do that. We'll rest until the night. And we have to pay? Really? Oh well. Thank you. Er, welcome, ish, wandering, er, foreigners. I can offer you as a bed, but that's all. No extra service or nothing. Don't er, take it the wrong way, eh? Well, I'll try not to. Hello, fellow travelers. Hello, minstrel. I don't know what brings you to Wormwood Creek, but I came after hearing rumors of great legends waiting to be told. And after some very tenacious digging on my part, I have discovered a few tidbits of information. This place used to be called Wormwood Creek. The natives were supposed to be wardens of a great hero. But over the years, the people forgot their purpose, and the village name got changed. The great hero was named Greynarl. From what I understand, Greynarl rode a mighty dragon into combat against an evil black dragon in the fiercest of battles. The hero of the heavens, as he was also known, lived with his followers atop the Magmaru, a volcano to the west of here. Interesting. Anyway, let's report to the church. I was too curious to stay away. I wanted to know what they were going to say. So far, everyone's just talking about the Black Dragon. Greynarl would have that Black Dragon stonkered in a flash. They don't call him the Hero of the Heavens for nothing. Only problem is, how are we gonna get word to him? Even if one of us had braved the bush, there is Wormwood Canyon to get over. You've heard of Wormwood Canyon, right? That whopping great ravine to the west of here? Ah, so there's a ravine in the way, is there? The village archives tell that Wormwood Creek's purpose is to stand guard of the way to Upover, where Greynarl dwells. The books there depict the heroic Greynarl defeating a terrifying black dragon. Impossible as it may seem, that dragon and the one that passed over the village appeared almost identical. Is that so? I'm not stepping outside while there's flaming great black dragons flying about the place. Uh, I think there's only one, ma'am. 
And there was me thinking that black dragons were just stuff from old stories. You know, like the one about the evil empire that used to get that black dragon to do all their dirty work for them. Evil empire, huh? I never used to believe a word of it, but they say the blighter even came and attacked Wormwood Creek once. I see. Hello, Mayor Doffish. There you are. Right. I'm only interested in hearing about one thing from you, the Black Dragon. Not long before you washed up on our shores, we saw it flying over the village. You're not trying to tell us you had nothing to do with it, are you? Well, we didn't. Oh, really? So you're saying you were attacked by the dragon, and that's how you ended up here? Don't come the raw prawn with us, mister. There's no way you'd have survived if you'd been attacked by a dragon. If I'm a Celestrian, there is. Yeah, don't listen to a word of it. It's all stinking foreign lies. Oh, get over yourselves, people. We're gonna have to assume that you and the dragon are working together. There you go, leaping to conclusions. Please be fair. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Why won't any of you believe what he says? Why are you so suspicious of him? Because he's not one of us. He's a foreigner. Foreigner, foreigner, foreigner. That's all I ever hear from any of you. It's, it's just so unfair. Where are you running off to, Wally? The dragon looked like it was headed for Upover. That's Greynarl's neck of the woods. The hero of the heavens might stand a chance, but there ain't much, but there ain't much us mere mortals can do. If we could count on his help, that'd be one thing, but we all know that's not likely. Anyway, I'm going to have to ask you to leave Wormwood Creek now, before something nasty happens. Now? While he's only just come to Wormwood himself, the little runt's not used to the way things work round here yet. He's a foreigner too, for now at least. That's why he's taken to you, I reckon. Thinks you're like him. I hope the little squirt hasn't been yabbing about village affairs to you. We've got to get word to Greynarl about that black dragon somehow. But that flaming fissure in the landscape's blocking the way. There's no way over Wormwood Canyon. There used to be a way to cross it in the olden days, apparently, but not anymore. Ah, how did they do it in the old days, I wonder? I do not know, my child, if that black dragon intends to attack our village or not. But if we are attacked, I have little hope that Wormwood Creek will survive such an onslaught. All we can do is pray. I'm not stepping outside. And there was me thinking that black dragon, yada yada. 
those two s say the same thing still. But where did Wallace run off to? Mumble grumble. He's not in here, I see. sign of Wallace. We've got a legend here in Wormwood Creek that's supposed to help people on their way to Upover. But we're not allowed to go blurting it to foreigners. It's the law. Oh no, it's the law. And yes, this guy needs a warrior. We'll get him a warrior at some point. If you're looking for Wallace, he just went up running off in tears. Gone to Hope Springs, most likely. He always hides himself away there whenever he spit the dummy. I'd leave him alone if I was you, Cobber. Hmm? Where's Hope Springs? Go over the bridge north of the village, then just follow your nose. You can't miss it. Oh, we can't, eh? Well, let's go see if we can find this Hope Springs. Anyway, now we're in Eastern Wormwood. Home to some new enemies. We've got some whirly girlies. That's a little painful. So long, whirly girlies. Jessica, then keep going. Here we can farm for Crimson Coral. And here we have a Gamari Gruffin, along with a couple more Whirly Girlies. Whirly girlies like to increase tension. The gruffin isn't a gruff. Well, it is now. It's defeated. Letter horn. Goodbye, splatter horn. And here we have a Sluggernaut and some Skeleton Soldiers. A little Hallowed Arrow, and boom! Not 
trying to put us to sleep. So long, enemies. The Sluggernaut has dropped. A Cloak of Evasion. Let's heal up a little bit. Splatterhorn and a whirly girly. So long, enemies. Now let's head west and check out Wormwood Canyon. Some enemies here as well. Oily Gully and a Sluggernaut. So long, enemies. Yes, heal all is quite helpful. Anyway... We've got a bloody Manguini now. So long, bloody Manguini. Up around here, we might be able to find some Brighton Rocks. Unfortunately, the random number generator is not that friendly to me right now. Well, let's head back to Eastern Wormwood. By the shores of this lake, we should be able to find some bell caps. As well as an encounter with a Sluggernaut. Here's looking at you, slugger. Now let's head east across this bridge that we were told about. Take care of these splatter horns guarding it.
Goodbye, splatter horns. Your pork chops now. Goodbye, Horly Girly. Before we head north, let's go east a bit. Climb onto these hills. And here we can farm for superior medicine. However, it's more efficient just to buy herbs and alchemize them in Crackpot. Ah, keep away. Sluggernauts and Skeleton Soldiers. Let's try Reign of Pain. Sluggernauts like to increase other enemies' tension, do they? Ah, putting me to sleep, are you? Try Reign of Pain. And Power Throw. So long, Boneheads. Let's head north up here, and we'll go through these woods, and around to the western side of that lake. And we've sideswiped a Gamari Gruffin. So long, Gruffin. So to the west we go, and around to the south. We've got some grim grinners. Get a bang out of that. Goodbye, Grinners. Grinning no more. And one of them has dropped a magic shield. Anyway, to the south here, we can farm for sleeping hibiscuses. Ah, oh, so you want to become pork roast, do you? I'll happily oblige. So long, splatter horns. Ah, oh, Deborah reaches level 33. And she gets six skill points. Congratulations, Deborah.
another sleeping hibiscus, and let's go on our way. In the next episode, we'll check out Hope Springs. This is Hayer Linea. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.